Hello everyone, welcome to Ryzen Protect. Today in this session, we are going to discuss transport request moments in SIP system. So we can also call it as a TR number, transport request number. Let's start now. So firstly, we need to understand definition of the TR. What's the meaning of the TR? So TR, it helps you to transfer data from the development system to quality system and quality system to production system. And it also helps you to transfer data within the same system, one client to another client. So you might be well aware about the SAP landscape. SAP landscape, it consists of three systems mainly, development system, quality system, and production system. So development system, mainly we can use for the developing the activities. And we can also use for the customization and configuration purpose. Next is the quality system. Quality system, we can use for the testing. See, mainly we can do the different kind of the testings. Example, SIT, system integration testing, UAT, user acceptance testing. So you can perform the testing activities in the quality system. Next is the production system. So production system, we can also call it as real-time server. So business users, they are running their business activities in daily in the production system. Simple. Next, we need to understand types of the TR. Basically, we have two kind of the TR. So workbench request and customizing request. We also have one more transport of copies that also we can discuss. See mainly first is workbench request. Workbench request, uh, technical consult will be using the workbench request. See mainly ABAP consultants. Example, so they can do the any kind of the development activities, repository objects. Example, in the any of the functional module, they have made some changes. In the existing program, they have made some changes. Such data they can save in the workbench request. And these are, we can call it as a client independent. So technical consultants will be using the workbench request. So next is a customization request. Customization request mainly used by the all the SAP functional consultants. With respect to functional module, they can do the configurations and customization. Such data they can save in the customizing request. And these are client dependent. Next is TR moment process. How we can move the TR from one system to another system? Simple in the development system, you can do the configuration and customization. Data will be saved in the TR number. Then after that, you have to release the TR. Then after releasing the TR, next we have to inform to the basis consultant. They will help you to transport data from development system to quality system. And in the quality system, we can do the testing. If you got the result in the testing system as per your expectation, then again, you can inform to the basis consultant. They will help you to transfer data from the quality system to production system. So we can also discuss after some time in a detail level in the SAP system. And these are the commonly used the TRs, mainly you should well aware. So first one is the SC01. So SC01, mainly we can use for the creation of the TR. With respect to user ID, you can get list of the TRs. Or individual TR also, you can find it. And that TR, you can also release the in the SC01 T code. Similarly, SC09, SC10 also, you can create the TR and also we can help you to release the TR also with help of T code SC09 and SC10. Next is the SCC1 T code. The SCC1 T code, it helps you to transfer data within the same system, one client to another client. Example, you have done the configuration in the development system, 100 client. And that data you have transferred from 100 client to under 200 client. So you can log into the 200 client you can copy from the 100 client to 200 client. So that we can do it with help of the T code SCC1. Next is the STMS. STMS, functional consultant will be having the access in a very, very rare cases. And most of the time, STMS will be using by the basis consultant. So basis consultant will be using the STMS T code. It helps you to transfer data from the development system to quality system and quality system to product system. System to system transfer purpose, STMS T code will be using. And this one, after reading that particular TR only, that, date, that particular TR is available in the STMS T code. If you are not released the TR, then that will not be available in the STMS T code. Next is the tables. See, mainly you have to con con take the confirmation. Example, you have done the in the development system, you have done the configurations and customizations. Then you have moved the data from the development system to quality system. How we can take the confirmation whether data is transferred from the development system to quality system? So in that case, you can log into the quality system, enter the table, example E070. Then that particular TR is available in the quality system. Then you can conclude that. So data is transferred from the development system to quality system. So similarly, you can also use the one more table E071. So these are you can use for the table to check the data purpose mainly for the TR. 
And these are the commonly errors you will be getting. So when you're working on the development system, so when you're reading the TR, so mainly, so TR not appearing in the STMS. In case you have not released the TR, even though you have released the TR also, still it's not available in the STMS T code. Sometimes system to system connection will be failure, it will be there. Again, connect with the basis consultant, they will help you and to resolve these kind of the errors. So sometimes PR fails in the quality system and production system and config is missing after TR import. Sometimes you want to have to save the data the particular configuration in the particular TR, but still data is have mode, TR is released, that came to quality system, but configuration is missing. Again, we can take the, we can better check with the basis consultant, they'll be helping on these things. So these are the main pro tip always you have to use for this one when you are working on the real time projects. The first one is you can use the transport of copies. See transport of copies is one more kind of the TR. See we have the workbench request, customizer request, plus also we have the transport of copies. Mainly we can use for the testing purpose. See original TR will not be moved to the one system to another system. Only for the kind of the uh, testing purpose only we can use the transport of copies. So next is group related changes in the single TR. So it means example you are a SD consultant or you are a SAP MM consultant. So instead of the saving the every data in the one on TR, for example, organization data one TR, master data one TR, then with respect to sales document or purchasing documents, you are saving the one TR. Instead of that one, example, in your module, try to save all the data in the single TR. If you find one TR, example, with respect to all the module in that module, all the configurations and customer actually will be saving the single TR. So better suggestion, example, you are SAP MM functional consultant, save all your data in the single TR. If you are SD consultant, save all the data in the single TR instead of using multiple TRs. So that in case sometime you may forget also, that's the reason save all the data in the single TR. Next is always document changes before releasing the TR. Example, with respect to number, with respect to example, configurations and with respect to the purchasing documents, you are making some changes with respect to your pricing procedure as well. Before releasing the TR, save the data, take the screenshot if possible. So for the documentation purpose. So later on, again, we can move the data from the development to quality system. Again, we can do the verification. You can do the comparison. So it will be exactly coming. So there are pro tips. So same thing, we can do it in the SAP system now. Let's start. So what we have explained so far, so same thing I'll show you in the SAP system now. So what we can do, mainly we have three, three T codes. We have example SC01. Let's enter the T code SC01. So SC01, SC10 and SC09. So these are similar actually, but SC01 has the multiple features. Mainly example, you can see the enter the your user ID. Then again, here you can see request type. We have workbench request, customizing request, workbench request. And also you can see here transport of copies. Customizing request will be used by technical consult. So sorry, functional so customizing request will be used by the functional consultants. Workbench request will be used by the technical consultant. And transport of copies mainly you can be used for the testing purpose. And here you can see the status, request status. If you selected the modifiable and release means see modifiable TR till now TR is not released. Only such TR is available in the modifiable status. And if you select that means TR is which are released. And that also we have the multiple options in the drop down. Based on that one, we can select it. So now what we can do, we can also cre create the TR in the sh one t code as well. How we can create it? Simple, click on the create request. Here you can select customizing our workbench. Now select the customizing, save it. Example, you can give the short description. Short description, what we can do? As per your convenient. We can give the short description here, save the data that is available, simple. Or else you can do any kind of the custom customization or configurations. That time also you'll get one pop-up. That time we can give the short description. So TR system will generate the TR number. Again, we can save data in the TR number. So in a simple way, what we can do, let's do on some so small kind of the customization activities. Let's go to SPR of path. I am going to con uh, customize the one PO document type. Let's click on the SA reference IMG. Go to materials management, purchasing. Again, here you can go to the purchase order. So I'm config, I'm customizing the PO document type. Execute with reference to document type NB. Search your standard document type NB. Let's copy this one, select, click on the copy as, and I'll give the name RIS7. Then I'll give rise PO. Simple, 
here you can see the item number line item number starts with 10 20 30 like that so this internal number range and external number range okay ci is already taken if you want you can change also example ci means here you can see this is ci and better we'll choose different one example i will take the r4 431 to 440 select this one if you want to change it or you can use the existing one it's up to you so this external number range. if you want to use it or you can remove it 41 is there you all the system is selected 41 okay this is one or if you want to you can change also simple Look, okay keep it as it is only press enter copy all enter now click us click on the save now you got this pop-up so the now tr number is generated automatically if you want you can save data in this tr or you can create the new tr how we can create the new tr click on the create request so same pop-up you got while creating the tr with help of the t code sc01 or sc09 or sc10 now i'll give the short description example mm module mm module tr that's fine now click on the save and here you can see the users and here you can see only my user id sap user if you want to give your teammate user id also they also have getting the ownership they can also make some modifications with respect to this particular tr so now i have given the tr name as a mm module tr click on the save and if you want we can also note down this tr number as well okay you can note down the short description as well and it's not mandatory just for your reference so usually what will happen once you start working on the real time so they'll be maintaining the proper excel sheet you have to save all the trs in the respect to excel sheet in your modules now enter we have saved the data in the tr that's it now we also assign the respect to number range now the plan is i'm going to release this tr how do we can release the tr with help of the t code sc01 so here my user id is sap user and here select the modifiable now press enter so mm module tr you can see here now again expand this one TR it consists of the subtask as well. This is the main tier and these are subtask. You can see customizing task. Again expand. Again keep, keep on expanding. T161. You can check where you can save the data. So this is the one. So in the T161, we have you can see the your data. So example, data is like ris7 so 800 is the client and ris7 is the your po document type so now my plan is i'm going to release this tr how we can release it first i need to release the subtask select this one click on release directly this one option or also what we can do this is a tr expand this one see now the thing is how to release the tr i'm showing you see here this is a main tr and this is a subtask first we can select the subtask right click click on the release directly or else we have one more option select keep the cursor on the subtask customizing task now click on the one icon is there release directly so anyone you can use it both are same only just right click click on the release directly so task is released now we can release the tr main tr we have to release it similarly right click click on the release directly and also you use the icon release directly now click on the release directly okay tr is released once tr is released Again, you can't save the data in the same TR. Simple. Okay. Come back. Now again, click on display. You can't see the TR number. Because this released. Come back. Now select the released. Uncheck this one modifiable. Now click on display. Now you can see YAMI module TR. Simple. Now inform to the basis consultant basis consultant will be transporting the data from the development system to quality system now we have done the configurations in the development system only configurations customization activities mainly how configure the customize the pure document type that one you have to transfer from the development system to quality system because in the quality system again you can create the po with help of the pure document type ris7 if you got create if you got created the po successfully as per your expectation then you can confirm to the basis consultant you got the testing result as per your expectation. Now they can transfer data from the quality system to product system. Again, in the quality system, no need to release the TR. Simple. Only you can perform the testing activities. That's it. With respect to TR release, there is no activities. Simple. Come back. Again, now what we can do? Try to create the try to create one more customization activities. Let's take an example. Create one purchase organization. Simple. We can use the SP arrow path or also we can use the T code. Go to definition. Click on the materials management. 
ओके स्लेट्स क्लिक ऑन द मेंटेन पर्चे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्लिक ऑन न्यू एंट्रीज आर आई एस एट दिस पर्चे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइज पी डॉट ओ आर जी पर्चे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्लिक ऑन द सेव नाउ यू कैंट सेव द डेटा इन द सेम टी आर टी आर एम एम मॉड्यूल इज देर एट दैट इज नॉट कमिंग यू क्लिक हियर ऑल्सो दैट इज नॉट अवेलेबल बिकॉज द टी आर इज ऑलरेडी रिलीज नाउ यू हैव टू सेव द डेटा इन द न्यू टी आर ओनली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेव द न्यू टी आर मीन्स क्रिएट द न्यू टी आर एग्जाम्पल एम एम मॉड्यूल सिंपल सो टी आर टू क्लिक ऑन द सेव अगेन डेटा सेव इन न्यू टी आर सिंपल and you want to check the data in the table level we can also check it go to the sc16 and t code so table what's the table e070 so here you can enter the tr number let's take your tr number this is your tr number Execute. This will be available. Simple. Here you can see the status. R R means T R is released. And also we have the T code mainly S C C one. So S C C one here is asking the source client. See source client you have to give it, and you can just include select all this one, including the request of sub task. Then we can start immediately. See so basically S C C one it helps you to transfer data within the same system one client to another client. Example development system. Mainly, you can use for the configuration customization purpose in the client one hundred. See, develop system also have one more client two hundred client. If you want to do the testing in the two hundred client, so that time you have to transfer data one hundred client to two hundred client within the same system within development system. That time we can use the S C C one T code for the testing purpose. And we have one more T code S T M S, transport management system. So this one, this is the one T R, is mainly used by the basis consultant. simple hope you got some idea about the transport request moments in sap system thank you thank you for watching